Let's talk about wound dehiscence. So if you have a closed incision that pulls apart, that is called a wound dehiscence or an incisional dehiscence. How we manage that depends on the scenario and other multiple other factors. In general, to close it back up, we need two things. We need to have a clean wound before we can close it back up, and we need to have healthy skin before we can close it back up. If the incision dehissed because the skin partially died along the incision, going right back to surgery and hogging it together and pulling it together is only going to kill more skin. So we need to wait a little while for the remaining skin to grow better blood vessels and increase its blood flow before it can handle the tension of wound closure. If the underlying wound is dirty and has necrotic tissue or infection, then we need to clean that wound and rid the wound of all non-viable tissue, necrotic tissue, and the tissue that's full of bacteria before we can close it up again. If you have an incisional dehiscence, normally we start off by doing local wound care to get the wound clean and give the surrounding skin edges a chance to increase their blood flow and get healthier and stronger. Once the wound is good and clean and the surrounding skin edges are healthy and strong, then we can go ahead and sew the incision back together again. To learn more, check out our website where you can upload your photos and concerns as a virtual consult. You can also check out our price estimator to get pricing information for all the various procedures we offer. And finally, if you'd like to have your questions answered on a future podcast or Q&A video session like this, please leave a message on our SpeakPipe. You can go to our blog page and our SpeakPipe is located there. Thanks for listening.